and then you see them without makeup and they look really incredible because they've had so much done and then it makes you feel even more insecure because even though you're like you could look normal or what normal used to be it's not normal anymore so while this is exporting because it's taking a minute i'm gonna sort out my herbs so that i can kick this goddamn cold that is trying to come through and we're not gonna let it we're gonna nourish our body so i'm gonna go into my little cupboard full of herbs and actually i have my little altar set up there oh i nearly fell over and then loads of herbs so these are the ones that i've been taking because i need to get rid of this cold so we have aloe vera can you tell how many coconut oils i have used and ginger turmeric bladderwrack and i think that one is burdock and then sarsaparilla i need that as well where is that sarsaparilla so we're gonna take those and kick this cold so i just went and grabbed my smoothie so i can take these herbs because i prefer to actually take it with the smoothie rather than with water because it just i don't like the taste with the water so we'll do it with smoothies and then it's much much easier and nicer to take because you don't really taste them so yeah, so this is the tablets I just took out of my pots that I showed you and I'm going to take them with this smoothie and the smoothie just has berries and hemp seeds, uh, chia seeds and sea moss and what else does it have? Maybe a banana, I can't remember what else I put in it but <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> trying to create this intro for these vlogs and it's taken me ages because i don't actually know what the fuck i'm doing or what i want it to look like <laughs> I am done with music for today because it is doing my head in. It just takes so long to mix and master songs. Like I have to literally just go back over it and over it and leave it a day or something to keep going back to it. So I think I need to go and just meditate for a minute. And just breathe because I'm not even sure what emotion I'm feeling right now. So that's how I know that I need to just go and be still on my bed and just sit there for a minute and let all the feels come up because I don't even know what it is I'm feeling. I guess it's kind of anxious, but I don't know. So we're going to go feel those emotions and then I will be back to continue on with the day. I can't think what the time is. It's like half six. So we still got a few hours to go of things that we can do so yes i hope you're having the best week it's one of these kind of days we just need a bit of peace feeling a little bit emotional so i figured i should just come on here and talk about it because ugh, it's to do with like these vlogs and they're making me feel extremely anxious because of how like your whole imperfection is just put out there publicly for the whole world to see and that just feels really uncomfortable so this is like another insecurity and like self-doubt kind of thing that i'm having to work through because i was sitting there earlier editing um last night's vlog and this morning's vlog and it just oh, i don't know it just made me feel really uncomfortable and I haven't felt like that in a while because I've got really used to filming and being on camera and stuff but I'm always in full makeup 
even if it's just my face like my face always has full makeup so to be here like in ridiculous oversized t-shirts my brother's t-shirt and like no makeup glasses you know Ugh. and then my hair like I recently dyed it so it's just real frizzy and a mess and I can't wash it yet so like I don't know I'm just feeling ugh, uncomfortable being on camera which is why I've now put the camera up in front of me because I feel like the best way for me to work through something and come to understand it is to sit there and just stop trying to overthink and just let the thoughts flow let them just go where they need to go so I'm just letting them go where they need to go to you and <laughs> to the camera right now because it's just it's crazy and there's just so much pressure put on us to look perfect especially as women because it's like a huge thing now for women to get surgery or to get lip fillers or Botox or just to do something to their body and like I haven't done anything and every time I get on camera without makeup and stuff I just see all of the things that I don't like and that I want to change so just like watching this footage back earlier on just made me feel like oh Oh my god I just need to change so many things but I'm not going to like as far as I know <laughs> in myself I am not going to because I don't want to and I don't want to feel like I should if that makes sense but there's just a lot of pressure on us to look perfect to the point where you feel like a different person without makeup so I don't know I just feeling a little bit insecure and it was making me not even want to post the vlogs and not even want to vlog anymore but I know that this is like such a powerful and exciting thing like when I first decided that I wanted to start vlogging my days again I just got so excited because it's like another way of connecting with you and you get to see what I'm up to and I get to share all of the things that I enjoy doing and all the things I'm passionate about and I get to like share that experience with you and that excites me but it's just I don't know like life is flawed everything that we do is flawed so not only do you see me looking flawed physically but then like there's the failures there's the mistakes there's just the whole life process and I feel like I'm literally putting myself bare on camera you know and yeah just the whole world can see it and it is bringing up a lot of anxiety so I'm just trying to work through that right now because I want to overcome it it's something that I want to overcome and not let it hold me back and not allow myself to just not post the videos I want to post them but I don't want to look at myself in those videos and just cringe and want to hide because the lighting shit and like I have no makeup and just all my imperfections and stuff that I just oh it just makes me cringe and feel really uncomfortable so yeah this is me dealing with my insecurities and I feel like so many people especially people that watch my videos and stuff when you dm me and everything with all of your insecurities and things that you are working on and trying to improve I just I just feel like so many of us are going through this and so many of us face this on a daily basis that it's just important to talk about and it's important to show the process of it and I don't know just work through it I guess together kind of thing like I don't know what I'm trying to say but <laughs> oh it's making me so uncomfortable but it's fine we're gonna get through this we're gonna get more comfortable on camera and like nobody is perfect and the type of perfection we're trying to reach involves surgery because you can't physically get it without it and I think this is just a like coming to the realization that this is who I am you know like this is who we are this is who you are and 
that's it. Like you're never gonna be something else because this is who you are. This is who you came here to be. So like, that's it, <laughs> you know? Like you can change your vessel all you want, but you are who you are. So like internally, you are who you are and you're not gonna change that through external means. So we may as well embrace and accept our vessel for the way that it is because this is the vessel that we chose to have for this lifetime and trying to like belittle or punish such a beautiful gift to even allow us to be here that's our vessel so i don't know i'm just learning how to accept that this is the vessel I have and it's okay to have it and it's okay for it to be flawed, you know? It's not gonna be perfect and there's many, many things I would change but I can't and I'm not going to try to. I'm trying to accept it and embrace it and love on it but fuck my life, it's so difficult. Oh, and I think I was asked to speak about this actually I'm sure somebody DM'd me talking about their body and I gave them some advice but I can't remember what I said. So maybe I should film a video on that. Well, I kind of am right now actually thinking about it. But maybe I should film a full episode on it because it's something that I'm trying to do for myself but I don't think I have the answers because it's really difficult. But it's just something that we need to do so many of us need to do instead of just trying to change the vessel and get surgery and get all of these things let's actually change our mindsets to the fact that our vessel is perfect anyway and it is exactly what it's supposed to be and i think more and more of us are getting more more and more insecure because so many people are changing themselves and then you see them without makeup and they look really incredible because they've had so much done and then it makes you feel even more insecure because even though you're like you could look normal or what normal used to be it's not normal anymore because people have had so much done not even just like um actual surgeries but even things like facials and like laser and just there's so many things that you can do even just having clear skin making everything look perfect you know like even scarring just so many things that make it um flawed and like not perfect enough kind of thing and then you see people that have just had so many things done that have smoothed their skin out and like got rid of the scars and stuff and it can just make you feel really insecure to be honest and I think seeing those people achieve that perfection then makes you feel even more insecure so like we're getting in such a cycle as a whole collective where we're not really dealing with the root problem you know people are just masking over it and getting things done to like fix the physical vessel and then that's triggering more insecurities and in other people that witness it because now they're not achieving that standard of something that somebody just had something done to change. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's just such a cycle. So, yeah, we need to just deal with this cycle. That's what I'm trying to do for myself. And hopefully that helps you. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to my little ball of emotion because <laughs> I don't feel like filming it anymore I think I need to just take an evening to just breathe in fact I might even go and try and edit the vlog again because what better way to face your fears and your emotions than to literally go and sit there and look at the video that's triggering it and try and work through it so yeah if I do that you will come with me and you will see it in the next clip. Sending so much love. Time for the next batch of herbs and another smoothie because I'm already feeling the difference, like my sinuses are healing and we're gonna keep on going. Editing, I actually did it, I came back and started editing. I'm quite proud of myself because I was proper in my feels earlier and now 
we are back editing but I can't decide how long I want to make these videos because the first one was reasonable length but then I only filmed in the evening. This one I filmed all day and it's at like 20 minutes already and that is not including this footage right now or my little meltdown emotional chit chat earlier or anything so I don't know how long I'm going to make it or how to split up the videos because I thought it was going to be a daily thing but I don't know, I don't know, so we need to figure all of this out but I am going to be doing this all in advance so by the time you see this video it will be at least a week, maybe even more away kind of thing, like it will have been in the past already because I want to get um like I want to have lots of footage and videos already so that I can keep up with it and be consistent rather than you know falling behind and then promising videos and then I can't do it so I want to have like batch or bulk videos I can't even think how the fuck to phrase this or how to speak right now I feel like I need to go to bed because it's like half ten but I want to carry on with this my alarm goes off at five so I may not get up in the morning but that's fine because it's a music day again tomorrow so that is fine but yeah so I'm just editing the videos and I did shower and put on my wonderful scarf and bonnet you are so welcome but yes <laughs> I'm just editing the video and I actually feel a bit better about the videos now that I've sat down again to edit and <laughs> look at all of this fucking footage. Like, I feel a bit better because I realise that actually, look at all of that, oh my god, like actually I do have a lot to say because that was one evening and then all of this is today, all of this, like, yeah, so it's literally like, I don't know if this is going to focus, but it's like 19 minutes long. So we're doing kind of well. I'm quite proud of myself, to be honest. Yeah, we're getting there. Hmm. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's going to con conclude this vlog or this section of the vlog. So that is it for today. I'm done filming, finally. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the description box below because my phone number's there and social media and everything about me. And yeah, this will either continue on to the rest of this vlog or it will end here. I'm not sure. But peace. Peace. As Hannah would say. <laughs> you could say I love you. I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself